Oh, oh yeah. Once. Yo, we are on top of one. Eight o'clock. Doesn't happen often, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Look celebrate at that. good times. Okay. We're here. Yeah, we timed this perfectly with the first pitch of the Phillies game. How, How did we know that they would wait right until we started to start the game? We got the game here on the big screen at the coop. Yeah, that's it, the first pitch I've actually seen of the Phillies season. <laughs> yeah, that's what you it's right. like things you don't <laughs> things you don't admit this and, shit. And, and man. He, didn't, he didn't seek it out either. Right? No, but that, yeah, listen, that's okay. Cause later this episode, we're gonna get to a, a new segment, which we're gonna call Rocky on baseball. And the fact that he doesn't know anything about baseball is not paying attention should produce some quality content at least that's my hope Just because i haven't seen any pitches doesn't mean i don't know what's going on i know it. Oh. i'm pretty sure you don't well know what's right. going on i did say we were going to start with a decent amount also, of phillies talk so I, I know people go crazy when the phillies play the pirates and it spells out poop in the first inning mm-hmm. but for the record uh the reds are playing the phillies and it spells out coop it which, spells out coop baby which and is we're where we're broadcasting oh, look at that, oh, look at that. <laughs> yes yeah, we got wow. a t-shirt that says think where's that image? coop yeah, Fink, Fink drew our attention to that the other day. Yeah. All right, well, look. Yeah, who's here? Guys, let's get this rolling. Um, interesting, because as as it happens here, we do this thing once a week, and you know, you're gathering your thoughts, you're thinking about what to talk about, and last night was an interesting night in Philadelphia sports, right? You got Harper, the hat trick, hits the three home runs, and Meech, you had a really good idea that you, you feel like we missed an um, opportunity there. It was there, a great correct? opportunity because you don't often see a player in your home stadium hit three home runs. And to give them the hockey treatment, they sh- everybody should have threw their hats on the goddamn field. <laughs> I mean, it would have been more – there wasn't a lot of fans there because it was a sh- uh, shitty weather and, you know, so it wasn't a well-attended game as opposed to what, you know, the ticket sales oh. might have said. But it would have been awesome if everybody there threw. It would have went viral. It would have been on, you know, Scott Van Pelt's show at night. And now, like, let me ask you this question. Cool I guess moment. enough people are close enough to the field if everybody within the first couple rows around the whole field did that. And I'm sure if they came short, the people in the front rows would have then took their hats and then threw it onto the – it would have been really cool. I, I, I have a question. Hats <laughs> raining down onto the field. Go ahead, Tom. For hockey people, when they go to games, do they – Take hats that they're you're, expecting I think, to get Tom, rid of? I'm looking at you. I, oh, no, you're good. You're good. My yeah, I was wondering the same thing. These no, hats no, are kind no. of expensive. I, I don't, but I would throw whatever hat I'm wearing onto the ice if the the uh, situation arose. But that's what I'm saying. Would you go to the game with the, I mean, knowing that you were willing to get rid of lose that hat? If I thought of it ahead of time, I yeah. would. But I, I usually that, don't think of it ahead. That of time. probably contributed to why people might not. Yeah, have I done wouldn't it. throw this 2008 World Series hat up on the. Field That's what I'm saying. Kate happened. in the chat says the hats would have been so cool. True, although oh. hats are more and more expensive by the day, right? What are we paying for these think, new hats? I think hats? Like fit is like bucks, 45 you know. bucks. Right. So if like you that. just got like a brand new Phillies hat, and you're like, well, I don't think so, man. Come on, it's not the same Actually, as that beat I, I, up um, Flyers hat. This I know. just bought this hat a few weeks ago, <laughs> but it and, looks like it's from 1960. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> New Era came out with they have a retro crown line, but right. these sold out immediately. Well, I uh, bookmarked it, and every day I would just go in there and refresh it. And one day I I saw it uh, hop uh, pop back in stock, so I bought one. Right, and I alerted the dude, um, Kevin Mooney on Twitter. Shout out Kevin. He's the one who told me about the cap originally. So I alerted him. He got one, and then it sold out again that day. But he took it down to spring training, and he met uh, Castellanos, and he had Castellanos sign it. So he's like, this hat's retired. So wow. I go, you wear you, I would have gave him a, a different hat. I would have bought one on the spot Wait, and had him sign that's, it. Uh, what's different about it? It's a retro crown? It's got no Yeah, it's got substance. no um, it's like a, it's, a wet it's, towel. Got it's it, like got a, it, got it. So it's know. like a dad hat. Is it it's like it, what right? Babe Ruth No, it's, it's not It's not a dad hat. It's a um, it's retro a, crown. Um, dad it's, hat. It's different from Heard. a dad hat. It well, fits dad. different. I had a hat that was signed by a guy, and I, his name is escaping me. And he, Oh, Mayberry. John Mayberry John Jr. Mayberry. I had like a, a Philly snapback that was somehow signed by John Mayberry Jr. And I said, you know what? I'm still wearing this thing. I mean, that's, you know. I have, a, I have a Charlie Manuel sign snapback. Do you Ooh, wear that's it? That's nice. I don't. I, I want what do you it, do with it? I want it in an auction in like one of those baskets, and I I keep it in a in a drawer tucked away. It's we were at amazing. a Sixers Eastern night game, and my buddy Ed ran out with a brand new hat, went up to a car to get an autograph, and it was out in brand, and he was like, nah. <laughs> he was just walking back. He was like, I'm out of here. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Happy to introduce. Yeah, what's up, Fink? Wait, let's go back to the solo Fink shot Looking in nice all his glory. Clean. 
No, yeah, clean man. shaven glory. Look at him. Looking good. Like a baby's bottom mm. there. You know uh, what they say about people with no facial hair, right? No. Can't no. trust them. You can't trust can't them? Trust yeah, yeah. Did we talk about this? That's true. Good. Okay. So we, we got Fink over this. here in the uh, the Fink tank. We got Rock over here. You know, Rock I'm tank. Jesse Rendell. We got Meech over we got here. Tom in the Tom tank. Tom is in the producer lair. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing good. Great. I'm waiting Beautiful. for my uh, my partner back. Oh, yeah, he, he just showed up. Oh, 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 there he is. creeping in the back. Yeah. Good timing. Hey, Fresh we, off the shiver. We didn't account for the fact that the Good Heart Bar would be in the uh, Tom studio shot. But you know what? I did. It's, you did. Good it's time. part of your setup. It, look, it's all fun and games. Take care, Mark. Guys, we're happy to be here, our weekly gathering at the Coop. But I want to get it back to the Phils real quick because, uh, you know, before last night, which turned out to be an amazing night, you know, I think everybody was a little bit concerned. Harper hadn't gotten a hit. Obviously, that all changed. Um, we saw a lot of the same things from the Phillies that we saw last year. And I think what's good makes them bad at the same time, right? These guys can hit a ton of home runs. They're going to get up there. They're going to swing their asses off. Um, but it's a vulnerability, too. And I think you saw that as the Braves just out hit them, you know, across the board in the first series. They're uh, also monsters. I have to also point out, that we may be responsible for a bit of the uh, mushing the Phillies bullpen. It's not our fault completely, right? That was and Todd's fault. It, and by, we and had we, sorry, Todd. Todd. I'm throwing him. Todd the Zalecki was on uh, the show last week, thanks to the wonderful efforts of Meech securing the guest. Thank you, Meech. And uh, no, thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Obviously, and Todd, I'm just a conduit. Todd, We're going to have Todd, Todd, Todd back Todd, on Todd. throughout the season. He's agreed to come on as, as many times as we want. Apparently, according and to and by the way, I'm I'm really bad at. Uh, giving plugs to guests who come on and Todd has a podcast with Sal Jim Salisbury formerly of NBC Sports and uh it's and Ruben Amaro and it's a really good podcast I listened to the first couple episodes and um so I should have told him to give this plug when he was on but I'm a really bad podcast host so I, I would, do it a week I late. That. Subjective. I could have told you that. <laughs> I do it a week late and listen to Todd's podcast with Jim Salisbury and Ruben Amaro Jr. It's it's really funny. It's pretty good. They have to have actual meaningful right. insights. Unlike yeah. they don't have people that are are involved you know, in the conversation that are watching some, their I had first some pretty good insight. I know, but do you realize week? we have a guy here who we're about to talk about the Phillies who's just admitting he's watching his first pitch? And by the way, last week on the discussion with Todd Zalecki admitted that he didn't know who Alvarado was. You know what? I didn't know who it was, and I was, you know, just, just looking around today a little bit, and I realized, I forgot, how could I not know who that guy is? Looking dude? around. Where were you looking? In your backyard? I was looking around, <laughs> and, you know, the internets, the interwebs, and I was like, how did I not know who this guy what is? Did you, what did you type in the search bar? Best Philly players? or No, I just a rather prominent Alvarado, and I was like, oh, it's this fucking guy. How could I not know who A rather guy? prominent figure in the past couple years of yeah. playoff runs, so... Yeah, I just I like think that dude. He comes with some. He's he's a fucking big, powerful dude, man. I like that guy. By the I way, said I, that I to Todd point, Zalecki. Here, here's Look at Trey Turner looking like somebody from up north with his fucking. <laughs> here's an, call here's an interesting little uh, <laughs> tidbit for you. Do you know last year uh, Bryce Harper didn't hit his third? I know he he started off on a DL. He didn't hit his third home run of the year until May twenty fifth. Do you know he didn't hit his fourth home run of the year until July fifteenth? No. no After his third, he went on the biggest home run drought of his career. So his next home run, uh, which I'm sure will come month uh, and- in the next few innings, will uh, be on still in in a beginning of April. Bush. Last year it didn't come till July fifteenth. Todd look at, me, look at me too. It's fucking who needs Jason that. Stark? Who needs uh, Tim yeah. Kirkton? Yeah, yeah. We, who we needs got, any we of those covered. guys? Okay, MLB but that's interesting stats. because com. I remember actually having this talk. You know, talking to my dad late in the season, trying to project how many homers Bryce was going to hit as he ended up getting kind of hot. And the question just becomes: now that he's got three, you know, maybe he does get hot and maybe he can put up some real numbers. I mean, he is officially is hot. Not one game. Um, I mean, when you hit three home runs in one game, you're hot, yeah, right? You, you're hot. You're on fire. You're NBA jam. He's mode. probably going to break the record this year. I just, with Bryce Harper, it's Bryce crazy to me, right? Home run record? Yeah. He already I, has three. And- Bryce Harper's unique to me because I don't know that I've ever seen an athlete who is so confident in themselves that he is saying, listen, I'm going to swing as hard as I can every single time because I know if I do hit the ball, it's going out of the park. I don't really care what you're throwing me. And he's so good that that approach works. Now, here's the problem. You know, it was awesome in, the, in his third where he hit the grand slam. The dude threw him a pitch that he swung on top of. 
and the very next pitch he threw him the same exact pitch and he crushed it for a grand slam like the the very next pitch he tried to fool him again with the same thing bryce harper happens to be at bat right now what's up with the, as we do this what's up with the shiesty mask in baseball is this a thing well, it's cold year? out it's dude freezing. i've never seen this in oh. baseball though it's happening. Well, 2008 I'm watching the my first cap. pitch this season. Never <laughs> seen this in baseball before. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. But here's the problem. Here's the problem I have, all right? There are other guys on this team that also take that approach when I don't think they're as good as him, Castellanos, for example, and that results in these droughts where these guys are missing the ball by feet. You know what I mean? I hear and, you, but do you want Castellanos to be um, not confident? I think that's part of his whole – like, ju- just let him swing away. Let Castellanos be himself. He'll have good games. He'll have bad games. He's never going to be Mr. Consistent. Okay. you, you got to take these guys for, for what they are at a certain point. I understand that, but if they are, and most of them are, guys that are going to swing, you know – as hard as they can at most pitches, then you end up with these long droughts like we had in the playoffs yeah. last year. You end up – what happened this weekend, these guys just couldn't find it, right? They just couldn't hit. And what I'm trying to say is this. Braves come in. Did the Braves have any issues heating up? No. How many doubles and triples and, you know, these guys are getting on base, their lineup, it's they're impossible to get out, right? I, my concern is our lineup at times is not that hard to get out if you have – if your pitcher's – pitching half decent right and that's a vulnerability well, that we this, saw in the playoffs this, this last is year. a conundrum because as you also saw in the playoffs last year the phillies shut down the braves and the phillies got hot and they beat them saint two years in a row two years in a row so okay but here's the thing over the course of a playoff run you can't afford and this is my overall so thing. so Hold which on. way do you go which, do this you, is, do this you go for consistency and maybe get knocked out by the hot team or do you, or you go don't expect your whole team in the playoffs to go it's, cold it's at the a, same time? It's a crapshoot, man. I'm like, just saying, hear me out, that I think one of the major issues with the Phillies are that we are extremely peaks and valleys. Oh, absolutely. Right? We're going up and down and up and down. And on balance, like last year, we start out shitty, we get hot, we make the playoffs. There's a million teams in the playoffs. It's no big deal. But, you know, you just see these guys strike out a ton. Some of these guys at like Cassianos at times, you know, he's swinging. You can tell he's going to swing. Pitch is a horrible pitch. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just have concerns about our ability to maintain this approach, and it's it's hurt us in the past couple of years. That's well, all I'm saying. I, I'd rather, I'd rather have hell, concerns Jess, about the World a playoff Series team. end to the championship game. I want to know how Coach Jess would fix this problem on his own squad if, if his team had this kind of approach. Well, listen, Coach Jess is dealing with uh, 11 and 12-year-olds. It's a little different. I don't know. Well, I, could, you, I could tell major leaguers how to hit. If you had a bunch of 11 and 12-year-olds, how to, if they're swinging for the fence every time, what are you telling them? I would say, look, you guys, as ironic as this is, you got to take a look at Stott. You got to take a look at Bohm and the way these guys approach at bats. You know, mm-hmm. They're smart about the way they approach at bats. Some guys on this team, I think, just go up there and take big hacks. And when they're locked in and they're seeing pitches, they do great. And when they're not, they have a problem. It sounds pick, like you got some real beef that. with Nick Cassianos. I don't have beef with Cassianos, but dude, do you remember in the playoffs when it's like you know he comes up, he's 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 gonna get he's gonna be out. You know Everyone what I mean? disappeared in Diamondback series, though. All right. Can <laughs> we got a guy? <laughs> we got a guy here who's been fumbling around. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, all right, turn that off. Get him out. Get him out. Pull him out. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Got him mute. I'm muted. muted. I'm muted. No, you're not. I can see in your mic. I'm muted. Literally muted. No. I got it. There you go. All right, let's try it again. (laughs) Let's try it again. Hey. There he is. Hey. Looking nice and clean. How many things are you going to screw up tonight? I know you're late. You come in here. Fresh from a shiver. No, I come in here. It sounds like he's breaking bottles in the bar. He's knocking shit over. (laughs) He looks looks like he's pissed. He looks pissed. Yeah. (laughs) How you Fresh doing? Yeah, welcome, Mark. Good. Mark Goodhart from the Goodhart Party, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I've gotten everything right today until I got here, so I'm okay. All right. Um, that's good. You know what I hate, though? And I know I'm like the resident old man when it comes to baseball. Yeah. These things that keep these guys warm. Zach Wheeler is the fucking man. Short sleeves, no turtlenecks. Yeah. He's got no the John nothing. Runyon going. And he's the pitcher. These yeah, I'm, guys, I'm sure he goes back yeah, into his dugout and puts on a parka and yeah, sits they put the in a, in a heater. The These guys with the things. I'm, I was driving here and listening to the radio, and they're well, Cassianos has the thing over his hat. 
Mm. And I know I know we're not soft. just picking on Cassiano today, but like, soft. come on, guys. These guys in the 80s <laughs> yeah, and what would even the 90s, soft. they weren't wearing this stuff. They're so soft. And they go into the, these comfy dugouts now. Half of them spend half the game in the clubhouse. Come on, man. Go out there and play Settle ball. Down, man. You're not All skiing. Right. Settle down, Come old on. Man. That's the first of a couple old man you know baseball what? takes so that I are going to happen. Wheeler's just got that. He's just got like – He's a pitcher, right? So he's you got to have a certain feel. He's a horse. Like it's like playing golf. Like you play golf in cold weather and you got extra Goodbye. layers on. You just don't feel comfortable. So I'm sure he's cold out there. He's like, he, you know, he's dealing with it. But if he throws an extra layer on, it's going to throw off his curveball. You know, a couple I just inches. Feel like, I can't so believe you guys are hating on people wanting to be warm. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's cold. I don't care. Wait, 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 wait. What the first hell? of all, like, first of all, this guy has no standing to talk about baseball. Second of all, Bryce Harper hit three home runs last night wearing a ski mask. I don't give a crap what he wears. <laughs> I'm fine with it. All right. No big deal. All good. All Wait, good. didn't they outlaw ski masks indoors in Philly somewhere? Didn't, yeah, didn't I, I, public I tweeted that last night. I put a picture <laughs> of Trey Turner. I go, if he was on SEPTA on public transportation or in a convenience store, he'd be kicked the fuck yeah. out. All right. I'm just happy to be here. It's great to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, what's Thanks, up, Mark? Thanks for having me. Thanks. You look good, man. You look good in that suit, man. Thanks, Thanks for coming for in me. in the suit and all. Um, I don't want to be, it's not like I always bring up concerns. Let me just tell you. I was so excited last night after the the Harper three home run. You know, I watched the Grand Slam with my kid. You know, I was fired up. I'm like, things are good. Watching Embiid, we'll get to that later. Everything felt good. But I can't help but think there are some some issues. And and you guys don't like bullshit me because you've talked about this too. Uh, with Marsh, you know, not playing at certain times and the platooning tonight. I think Merrifield's playing third, and Boehm is sitting. Is that right? Anyone? Yes. Okay. So so this is something and. We talked about this a little bit last night on our extensive prep call. Um, Merrifield, right? A guy, he hits 400 in spring training, which is amazing. And everyone talks about how great of addition he's going to be to the team. So much so that it's kind of baffling a guy that's not an everyday player is like the, the prize free agent that's going to like help the team, right? And already in the first couple of days, here's my concern. And we've seen this from Topper. He's very deferential to guys, right? Like he was last year with Kimbrell. Um, and I'm worried that, he is so concerned with making sure that Merrifield gets to play that he's starting this, you know, kind of, I don't want to say arbitrary, but he's platoon, not platooning. He's given different guys rest. And it's like, I'm a little worried guys like Marsh, you know, they need to get going. They need to be able to play. Like, is he just going to be pulling like, people out of the lineup? It was, can it was I the, ask third, it was the third game of no. the year where Chris Sale started, who's a lefty granite, but he was last good in like 2019. He hasn't been good since. And they sat Bryce Harper, and it wasn't because he fell over the first base dugout and flipped. It was a scheduled day off right. confirmed by Bryce Harper. Uh, Did they Bryce plan to Stott, lose the first two games also and then sit Bryce and Stott sat a lefty, and uh, Brandon Marsh sat a lefty. And they started Rojas, Kristen Posh, Merrifield, and the first batter of the game was a lefty. It was the only lefty in the game. Kyle Schwarber hits a leadoff home run. Like he, he's and, just too and wet. the bottom of the lineup was like a, a pass oh, it for was the other horrible. team. And they, we got they didn't, runners on base. They didn't get close to having a hit. Yeah. But it's it is annoying. It's the third game of the year. This isn't the middle of July where guys could use a day off. It's the third game of the year. Let Bryson Stott tee off on you. Chris Sale, who hasn't been good for five years in the majors. I'm with you. Fink has something to say in the it's Fink tank. Also Tommy. The fifth game of the year. You That's, guys uh, need to go go with this. fucking relax. I'm sitting there listening this. to these two dudes Thank over it's here. It's 162 like, games, and it's game five. You were like, Cassiano's is swinging at everything. Topper's an idiot with his line. You know, this reminds me deep of... Breath, deep breath, You should know this by now. I, I agree. Hate, I hate being like the like calm, relaxed No, I agree. Guy, Thank like, no. I was this angry game, game one. Game one, You're I want so to You're so rational, somebody. it's scaring I me. It. I hate when I have to be the rational guy. Okay, I let me... I want to I rebut that a little bit. Oh, by the way, you're, wow. you're the guy who calls in to the radio stations like, I don't know why you guys are being so hard. And they're like... What do you want us to talk about, jackass? You know what I mean? <laughs> you want us to just come in and be like, everything's oh, yeah, let's great. Talk about the Eagles again. <laughs> Think this is a podcast, right? Sometimes you have to take a stance. You know what I mean? You can't just be like everything's rosy. All right. You, you can't do that. Five. You can't do that. Game five. Okay. Can we just have some context here? We're looking at it. Do you agree that Bryce Harper shouldn't sit in 
anywhere before game five? Like, I, I think that the Phillies think that we're idiots and don't think that it's anything else. Like, it's a scheduled day off. I don't believe that. Like, he also had well, back why problems in spring training. Why yeah, that makes more sense city. to me. Because Topper's an idiot. I know Rocky on baseball. I looked. At, I was looking at some stuff today. We're ready for that. And then I no. I'm just telling you. I was looking at some stuff today, and I'm like, wait, why does dude only play four games? And I was like, this right. is a little odd. So okay, but does, can we can we set some context? Okay, <laughs> what you're saying right now, Fink, completely ignores the mindset of a fan coming into the season. Like if you're like, oh, baseball's back. This is swell. Well, that's just ridiculous. Think about this. We watched the team go to the World Series, right? In which they had a what two two games and one lead, right? Yes. Okay. And last year, they go to the NLCS. My mind's blanking. Three to two. Three to two lead. You know, with two. Okay. So World Series at home. NLCS. Okay. They largely bring back the same group. Okay. Largely bring back the same group, and they start out one and three, showing a lot of the same issues that they've shown. Bullpen looks like a mess. Like. Sure, it's very easy to just be like, it's early. And believe me, in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's early. But if you're not concerned about that, knowing that there is no more, like making the NLCS is not acceptable for this team. Like they need to win the World Series. They need to win the World Series this year. So yeah, guess what? I'm going to analyze it and I'm going to tell you if I see things that make me concerned. Sorry, and they have my to deal bad. With the Dodgers Back to you, Fink. It's game five. So it's game five of a 162 game season. And Come the other thing that we're talking about, you're talking about the playoffs. It's maybe it's the mismanagement by the manager, but you want to blame, put the you blame know what? other places. Tom, can you bring the camera back to me? Listen, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> listen to me right now. I want to tell you can something. You split screen. Jesse I want to tell you something that's Finn. embarrassing. I want to tell you something that's embarrassing. This I'm guy not, over I'm not here. Do that for the listen sake to of me. everybody. This guy over oh, here, wow. one Eric Fink, got more pissed off about the cancellation of Dollar Dog Night than he has about anything that's transpired with the Phillies. He doesn't care what happens on the field. He only cares about the stupid shit that's going on with the concessions. Stupid shit. These he are cares facts. about the fans. I care These about the fans. Facts. That's corporate greed. Tell and them, the, the elite trying to step down on us little middle class and lower class fans. Oh, we got some insider information there. See that there? Yeah, she doesn't know what she's Read talking it. about. Says oh, I <laughs> whoa. Oh. I don't want to start anything on in the home front for the people listening. Devin right. said, was that, what was that thing? Devin's, Devin's who has that. insider information usually says she thinks Bryce's wife is pregnant and he had a doctor's appointment or something like oh, that. That's why he said, you know, I'm sick of this. Listen, there's, Devin there's coming doctors. to Fink's defense when he's Urgent clearly care? not invested in the baseball season. Oh, yeah, coming to your defense. And he's Look more. Oh, well, thank you, Devin. <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> Dev. Thank you. We're on the same page here. But Fink is clearly, I mean, look, he is a man of the, the food. You know, there's no doubt about that. A man of the food. Well, you know what I mean. He's a, what do you, you got a better way to say that you could probably think of, right? He's but a he's a hoagie superstar. prince. He's the hoagie oh, prince. Oh, we got to drop. Prince. We got to drop. He's I'm so more, concerned yeah. about the freaking hot dogs. Now, I want to do, I do want to take a I think quick you're overly concerned uh, about what's going on. I, I agree with Fink. You're overly concerned about what's going on five games into the season, man. You need to chill the F out, bro. Bro. I seriously don't want to hear shit from you. You haven't watched one pitch of baseball. Like, I've watched wait, wait, at least four pitches right now. Two, I command you to <laughs> shut the hell up until I ask you to do Rocky two on baseball. Two of the bullpen blowups were on Brogdon, and he's not no longer on the team because the team was like, oh, well, he sucks, and we all knew that. He shouldn't have been on the team to start with, but you have a little problem. But you're okay with, oh, just Ryan. letting that go. Yeah, it's it's a, you it's have a Ryan Kirkerin who had the flu, and he has to get okay. back in this swing. Can we ask him a question? I see there in the comments, Brad's, uh, they're all chanting chili bets. Listen, if I get one, I'm I'm not sure if they're putting out live bets. To How me, can but Brad, if they do, Brad, Brad can't, can't even place the bet. bet. Dude, he's in Barbados. And who's Brad? Radical Squirrel. <laughs> I know. He's like, get this Radical dude Squirrel. Out of here. Yeah. Brad, do you have somebody uh, that you're betting through here? I'm guessing this you do. Spider Monk. He I taught the, Trevor uh, how to do it. Yeah, uh, Otani. Okay, Fink, quick question for you. <laughs> At, Otani's translator. At which, oh, oh, wait, we're going to do that, Dev. We're going to do that. Okay, hold on. Name five right. wait, players, at which point? <laughs> at which point, think. Go, Dev. <laughs> at which point will you stop saying it's early? Seven games? Eight June. games? June. Hey, listen, they did play the, the Braves. You, you go one and two against each. the Braves, it's all right. Don't. Absolutely. The two blown games were Brogdon, bad bullpen, the pitching was okay. Nola settled down after two. I can't get. Okay. I can't be upset right Let's now. Let's do this real quick. And this is not Rocky on baseball. 
Devin asks Rock to name five players. This is too easy. There's too many stars, but go in ahead. Baseball, or on the Phillies. Say, it's easier for me to do it on the Phillies than in baseball. You know All right, I mean? we'll just do it on the Phillies. Let's All go. Right, so we got Nola. We got Wheeler. We got That's Harper. We got has Schwarber, to be baseball. We got baseball. Trey Turner. Baseball. We got Cassianos. Uh, he's, oh, he's going for the starting line. He just told us he was Googling Phillies Can you name five players it? not on the Phillies? Uh, now we got Otani, we got Trout. Come on, dude. Got, uh, isn't there a guy named Okung or something like that? Like Matt McClung, Matt Eric McClung. Davis. Is he, McClung? A, isn't he a base football Matt, Matt McClung? McClung? No, not Matt McClung. What's the dude's name from Atlanta? Okung, whatever. Uh, Acuna. Acuna. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Close. We got uh, Akung. Wait, he dropped so quick. He's got like, Otani Trout. Isn't there, isn't Acuna. there a judge? Is a judge somewhere in New I'm York? I'm sure there is a judge. Is a judge somewhere. in New York. Judge, all Jerry. this proves is you Judge watch Judy. Sports Center every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, that's that's where I get my my baseball news that's from. Four. You know what I mean? That's, okay, that's oh, we got three and a half. That's all right. Well, enough. look, I do want to. King Griffey Jr. still out there? Still I want to go back. <laughs> no. Kenny Lofton. I want to go we got back. Brogdon. <laughs> no, he's in the minors now. <laughs> all right, I, that's, that's order that's in the <laughs> court. Order in the court. Okay, I do need to go back though because as you can see on the bottom of the screen here, we do mention that Fink resurrected Dollar Dogs. If you've watched the show, you may know that he ranted from a hot tub about how upset he was about the cancellation of Dollar Dog Night at the Phillies, and he was determined to do something about it. And he did just that this week, and it was featured on Fox News, not the Fox News, Fox Twenty Nine. <laughs> <laughs> it was on Fox News. Oh, Yo, I need that. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, by you the do. way, I heard Mike Jarek is leaving Fox Twenty Nine. What? Is that right? Wow. I didn't hear he's that. He's going to QVC unless really? my mother-in-law was well, I don't watch, fell for an April Kind of makes Fool sense. Joke. It probably was April Fool's. I don't watch TV He's actually early, coming so here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Fink, can you talk to us about what you did personally to try to save dollar dogs for the greater Philadelphia area? I would like to be referred to as the glizzy dollar dog god. Okay. For now, going glizzy forward. god? The glizzy god. Glizzy you um, wrote dollar glizzy god in your name thing for here, yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> they can't see that. Oh, yeah, um, so <laughs> Thank like, God. like everyone knows, I was pissed off about the dollar glizzy. dog things. So we suggested to do dollar dog day at Finks. Okay. Through a big event from four to seven yesterday, sold four hundred and eighty-eight dollar dogs. Hell yeah. In the rain. Everyone still came out. Oh shit. And uh I hope that like it's not just us, it's a bunch of like businesses. In and around the city doing the dollar dog thing, so I'm hoping that it embarrasses the Phillies a little bit. And I'm sure. They yeah, I got I got a call from my boy Dom. He's like, I'm heading down to Finks. You coming up? I he go, bought ten of them. Yeah, I go, I go, dude. If this rain uh, clears, maybe I'll. Beach <laughs> 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 yeah, is like, like right. fuck me. It's okay. Sorry, yeah. dude. I, you know, <laughs> I, love I wanted to go. Think about I'll this. be honest. You saw the crowd at the ballpark yesterday, right? Yeah. On buy one get Correct. one day. Bogo. No one's there. No one no. wants to go. Bogo. But we yeah, saw four hundred hot dogs in the northeast. I got a critical question. All right. Did any of these people head out to Frankfurt and Cotman and throw these dogs? at anyone else no, we would never do that because the fans are not rude ru uh. yes and, the <laughs> <laughs> and i guarantee uh, the fink dollar dog Devin says tastes LOL. better than the ballpark dollar dog Devin says yes, lol did. i don't think jerick is leaving so my mother-in-law fell for can you Devin. call Devin? like why are we she, she in the chat she that. should be in the damn show tell her <laughs> to beam in all she right? was supposed to go down to the phillies game today uh, with WIP right. at one and then at four and then at she seven, thought she got me with that five players oh Little and i bet know. i bet joe the camera was too soft to go there tonight right he probably I, postponed I, i'm not it. saying nothing I'm not, that's what i'm guessing eric can i can i give a shameless uh thinks plug right now it feels apropos with the dollar dog you can do whatever you want hell can, yeah Tommy. Tommy. so, so <laughs> tommy's not realizing that mr goodhart's making a point here he all right go ahead mr goodhart <laughs> Uh, my shameless Fink's plug of the night is um, I, I sent a tray of Fink's hoagies to a Shiva today uh, in Philadelphia. And you'll have to check with the King tomorrow to see if Fink's hoagies have ever been ordered for a Shiva before. But um, I got to tell you, so. the hit of the Shiva, Fink's hoagies, everyone. Yes. Nice. There you go. The Shiva King. My wife's family, who's Jewish, ordered Fink's party bundle so what about the kind of kosher close. thing am i missing? they're not kosher i, okay, I, I knew that going say, like, yeah. i don't think things i don't know you how don't. do you guys clean your i just want to say it's a, it's a potential new market share for you buddy love it i'm all in shiva specials <laughs> let's go what else we got 
Oh my gosh. Too much fun. <laughs> Too much fun. Finks for Shiva. Yeah, guys, look, you can yeah, get I, lo I love his name. Finks oh, for Shiva. Oh, I would also Kyle, uh, our boy from Crossing Broad, also a Glizzy Gladiator, as I like to call him. He's, Kyle Pagan. He's doing uh with Phil Abundance. They had to reschedule. Yeah, they had to cancel their event. They're, they're, they're doing a dollar dog, and he's been a really big uh huge crusader behind here getting bob casey involved who is a snake by the way bob casey your vote is now on the docket next time i go to go wow. vote because you promised us dollar dogs Jesus and then you took Christ. them away from us um nobody wow saved. how did that wow. listen these Think politicians have to learn they have to earn, earn our vote like i'm not just giving it to him he fucked my dollar dog and days. what did we learn right here folks <laughs> fink's vote is entirely predicated on okay. your support or lack thereof of dollar dog night so or hey. money i will be I, you can, you can <laughs> and then he believes can politicians should be spending their time on dollar dogs <laughs> oh man amazing amazing all right well that was pretty much uh oh wait i did have one more baseball thing actually you know what this is as good a time as any. Let's go dun, to dun, 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 dun. Rocky on baseball, baby. Rocky, Rocky on baseball. baseball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rocky on All baseball. All right, so we're just going to start. <laughs> we just use the same JVM thing. <laughs> uh, we should do that forever. Rocky on baseball. All we'll right, make guys. this short and sweet with the Phillies. Uh, that you haven't watched all season. Beginning of the season summary. Why do so, you make it long and complicated? Yeah, we don't want to see that. <laughs> so it looks like the Phillies are coming out the same way they started last year. We got where we at two and three. Game just started. Probably going to be three and three. Oh, look at them guys bundled I'm up. I'm assuming. Cowards. These guys are also soft. Anyway, we got <laughs> Wheeler doing Wheeler things. True. You know what I'm Do saying? you know what Wheeler things are? <laughs> yeah, he throws good pitches and he gets people the fuck out of here. <laughs> Keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? He went... I want to say six, six runless scoreless. innings. Scoreless. <laughs> runless. <laughs> runless. They call them runless in innings. The biz, they call it a scoreless <laughs> inning. Rocky going baseball is everything yeah. I thought it would be. <laughs> this is we great. We're going six runless you know, innings I, I won't interrupt in game anymore. one. Just fucking, just you know go. what I mean? So we got Wheeler. He's doing his damn thing. Yeah. We also got Nola doing Nola type things, who's, you know, stinking it up early in his first game. Meet we got guy. the bullpen doing bullpen type things, stinking it up, right? We got. Bryce well, okay. has his close to God moment. Otherwise, not doing much, but that's what he's going to do, right? This guy's a, he's a man of the moment. He has these, I'm the man. Don't you ever forget it. It's three home runs it's last night with the RBI. Oh, I'm sorry. With fanatics the doing fanatic things. Fanatics doing fanatic things. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> Phillies are two and three right now. I'm about to be three and three. You guys got nothing to worry about about the Phillies. Thank right? you. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. To worry about. Tell it's them, early in the season. Not until they get to the finals, Rock. Yeah, the finals. Uh, the finals. Rock's there. wife is in the chat saying he only watches baseball if they get to the finals, which Jeez. isn't a thing in baseball. Yeah, yeah. It's called so, the World Series. So we got that. That's the the Phillies are going <laughs> to be okay. Don't worry about it. Um, and other baseball news we got. Up Have in they New been York. scoring a lot of points this year? By the I way, I don't intend for Rocky on baseball to be like a summary of everything that's no, going gonna on in baseball. Quick. It's, it's okay. going to be quick. Yeah. Shut, ahead, up. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Let me do that. So we got up in New York. We had. I think they're five and they were five and zero. I think they're five and one now. The New York Yankees versus the Ooh. zero and four Mets. Mm. So not versus, let's, let's but they were zero and four. Okay. You know what I mean? So you got some. Yeah. You got the, the the rich folks, you know, feeling good and proud, and you got the poor folks, you know, down in the <laughs> that's dumps. That's how that but, that splits up. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do like around the is it, is there's there's no around the league. Rich um, <laughs> Mets fans. Hey, I'm sure there's some rich Mets anyway. fans. Anyway. Tickets are cheap. I, you know that, Jerry that, Seinfeld. You know the the whole New York the subway thing. That that'll probably that gap <laughs> that gap will probably get shrunk at some point. And then what else we got? We got you guys sent me a clip today of uh, right. Reese sliding into some guy's legs. Right. Which first of all, the whole sliding in the fucking people's legs thing. Whatever, dude. If you're gonna stand there on that base, you're gonna you gotta expect to get fucking kicked in the knees. <laughs> Bottom line, <laughs> Rocky get on kicked in the fucking knees. Rocky and you know what? On He's on the ground bitching, and that guy's yelling at him. You know what he should have done? He should have yeah. fucking kicked some dirt in A his one face. One and done segment. That's what I would have so done. Are you are you the team Mets guy or team Hoskins on that incident? I'm team Hoskins going right for the knees, but then I'm also. This guy shouldn't, yeah, he shouldn't be bitching. If he's going to really bitch and like be about he was that life, a lot. he should have kicked some dirt in his face. Yeah, he could have yeah, body slammed. He could have done, yeah, about he could've it. done <laughs> speaking of WrestleMania, he could have went boom right on him. He was laying there, you know, do something. Yeah, so that's what we got this week, Rocky on baseball. Next week, we'll try to find some other cool stuff in there. But hey, that was a pretty you know, good day. I can't wait for next week when it's Wheeler's doing Wheeler things. <laughs> right. <laughs> it might be Wheeler doing, we'll see how this game goes. He ain't going to pitch again until next week anyway, right? So I think that was a pretty good debut. For oh, hold, the, hold on, hold on. I got some more. I got some more. Let me oh, just do, pull this do up tell. Real quick. 
Um, for those wondering, on uh, April 11th, we got the Pacific Asian Heritage Night down there at the ballpark. <laughs> uh, 412, we have Scouts Night. 413, Autism Awareness Day. Philly's doing good things. And on 414, we got the Cavity Busters Kids Opening Day. Ooh. All these games versus the Pirates. So, oh, you know, if you're into any of that Yo! stuff. Hey, beat them bucks. Let me say this. On the 14th, right I know now. this. They're giving away like a sleeveless sweatshirt thing. My kids are all into that, yeah, dude. Dean, like we can't go to that game and he's all pissed I off. I wonder if that's Dr. No, no, I think I'm actually going to have to. Uh, Doc that Dr. Or whatever Cavity Busters. Yeah, yeah. I actually Brassler can't go to that game either. I went there once. Go ahead, Mark. My kids want me to walk through the turnstile, get the gear, right, and then leave. Yeah. There's no other way to get it. Because like my kids have games, but they're like, someone needs to go. Use the tickets, yeah. get the thing, and then leave. But I don't think they would give it to you. I think they only give it to kids. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fair point. Yeah, like they they only give it to so 14 I'll go play in the kids' baseball game, and they go get the gear? You have to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, shout out. I'll, I'll go down for I, you. Shout out Dr. Dr. Bressler and his uh, cavity busters and kids. My wife says there's only there's no Mets fans, apparently. She's from New York. She, she knows what's going on up there. She wants to hang out with a bunch of rich folk up there. <laughs> Plenty of Mets fans. Anyway. I can attest what to that. What else are we talking about? We're talking about some hoops tonight? Because we know the hoops yep. are big, baby. Yep. JoJo's back, yep. baby. Yep. We're getting there. With a um, fresh dew. Yo, I, I just got a uh, chili live bag. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Chili, chili live bag. Live bag. <laughs> chili <laughs> live bag. It's on DraftKings. What? Oh. I'm oh. fucking DraftKings. I'm sorry. I do. Well, what's I, the if anyway. anybody wants it I'll, give it, I'll give it on air, but I'm not linking to it. I don't give a fuck about DraftKings. I'm not. Shout Put money in there right now. I want to win some money. I need you. You got draft games? Right, you ready? Real real quick, it's the Pistons Hawks game. Write this down. DeJounte Murray over 25 and a half points. Jalen Johnson over 15 and a half points. There's something named. Hold on. <laughs> Tucson, <laughs> Evo, Buman, Bumuan. Um, Tosan, Eva, like oh, that's geez. a basketball player over seven and a half points, and for the game under two hundred and twenty three and a half points, it's plus a thousand. I, I'm not fucking with that. I don't fuck with DraftKings. Sorry, Chili Bets, but I just want to make something clear. If DraftKings, or I don't anyone, even know anyone who those from players. Were. Meech speaks for himself. There. If anyone from DraftKings is watching this, I have we, not we totally would. You know what? Except with you. for me, I don't fuck with you. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that You're one more time? Too fucking complicated. Hey, you would be you want Meech's, uh, although he he claims to be it's from the Hawks up. game. We got dumb down your under. app, DraftKings, and then I can figure it out, and then I'll be on your team. All Ooh. right, your app's too fucking complicated. Run that, run that bet shit. through again one more time, Meech. You got the under on the Hawks. I, I can't do it. I can't. Uh, here, right. just give it to him. I don't know this it. dude's name. Dude, just give me your phone, so you I can can't. put it in. Oh wait, now. here I just got one in Fanduel. Oh, let's hey, do this. Hey, hey, here we go. Hey, 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 this on the shit. Here we go. Here we go. Squirrel this is in the same shit. Detroit Atlanta game. Jalen Johnson, 20 points. Jalen Duran, 20 points. DeJounte Murray, 25 points under 223 and a half. Shit. It's plus 89.22. I'll put out Ooh, the um, 89.22. See, this is the problem with the chili bats. I'll guys. put out the link in there is no problem with them. Hey, can you uh make sure you're tweeting this out? Think listen, the problem is with the chili bats. All of us scramble to log into our FanDuel <laughs> and put these bets in. We're gonna put the show on pause. Yeah, like I don't it's know. Right. I don't know how to do this, guys. Cool. You got to get a little animation that happens when this. You know, do, you got to have do, a little do, guy do, walking do, across do, the do, table. Do, All right, here's what do, we're gonna do. do, 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 do. We'll use that gift lady do, do, smacking the fucking do, do, bet, do, do, do. bet machine. You know, when it happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to put this bet in. Meech, while <laughs> I'm doing this, can I this. give an anecdote while while you guys talk about putting this? I'm putting it on. Yeah. Yeah, go, go to Good Heart. City City Pigeons Twitter. Go check it out. It's coming up on Tom. There. Go to Good Heart. Let him get. Let him do his anecdote while we get this bet in here. Go ahead, Mark. Mark's here. Solo so, so his I, ass. I witnessed Tom, a, his uh, ass. a three homer game one time, Beautiful. and I was thinking about okay. this uh, so last night. Um, it was May twentieth, nineteen ninety eight, and um. Those of you may remember that uh, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa in 1998 were involved in this home run chase, right? Saved baseball. And it saved baseball. So May 20th, 1998, the St. Louis Cardinals were at Vet Stadium. And I was sitting behind home plate, and uh, my man Dave Parker was kind enough to give me some seats. He was the hitting coach for the Cardinals then. And McGuire hit home runs 18, 19, and 20 Incredible. on May 20th at the Vet. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was 
the takeoff of the chase, believe it or not. That's awesome. That night we went down, um, we we're outside the clubhouse, and that was the, the 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 last night where they didn't have a separate press room set up for McGuire. And but they were not enough space in the clubhouse. So they had him out in the hallway, and I got to witness his interview after the game with all the press around him because the only place to put them all was in the concourse down by the clubhouse. And McGuire was interviewed uh, right out. I hate I him, Mark Jeff McGuire. Conine, I, Lenny Harris. I hated half of those fucking Marlins. I met Mark I'm McGuire sorry. in 89 at a car show, and he was my size, and then saw him again two years later and was listen, five times. I know that you're trying to... And you shook his neck muscle. Listen, Tom, I know you're trying to <laughs> add dramatic effect by saying he was your size, but Mark McGuire was never your size, bro. There's no <laughs> chance. There's no chance, just to be real. Okay, so, I'm sorry. I, Mark, I'm guessing what you just said was a very poignant thing, but... I was too busy trying to figure out how to get the bed Mark, in, which Mark I did. Claimed... $35, I think I put. I just banged it out for $2,600. Tonight. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, you went, and, you went and bigger do than I get me, the, Did you put this on X? Yo, I went bigger than, yeah. than me. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's called Twitter, Mark. Don't call it X, please. Well, well, you, you know, what you, what you did, I'm Mark, logging in on my browser. Yeah, on Jesse, browser what you didn't hear why Mark was talking was he confirmed that Jarek's going to QVC. <laughs> <laughs> Jarek would kill a QVC. By the way, Whit Merrifield coming up does not look like he's a fan of the cold weather, as far as I could tell. He is very it's pretty sloppy. Really nasty picked, outside. Like, Merrifield to pick on. So too, cold, man. man. I'm not picking on. You Whit were like, oh, he's just a big. Old. He's better than Jake Cave. Yeah, props Listen. to the props to the fans sitting out there in this slop right here, watching the two and three guys. Sillies, I a couple weeks ago I yo, said Whit Merrifield is hitting three eighty. NFL fans, should, oh, I mean, it's in much worse conditions. No, hell yeah, but there's only sixteen football games you know what i mean there's only eight you're going to be able to see pretty much so like you got to deal with that there's who's, a who's this little guy with tim duncan tim a is that whit merrifield yeah that's whit merrifield well, you know what whit looks like all right well we do promise <laughs> um we did promise online <laughs> we did promise that we were going to have a controversial a sixers here, take right? there's a lot Ooh. of uh, uh arbitrary talking tonight all right there's going to be some Fines. You can put them gloves on over there, home. There's going to be some I'm fines going, going out after this. Okay. No, we need, we said, we had Embiid returning last night, which is obviously a huge moment. Make sure I get Okay. It. Let's go. Tell. And we, Meech said that he had a controversial take. And I asked him, is it still viable after, uh, you know, Embiid was coming back? And he said it was. So um, Tom, here we go. Meech, uh, last night, everybody's watching. With bated breath, you know, seeing if they can pick up any signs of Embiid being still injured and and like that big fucking brace on his knee, right? Is and that a sign? Not wanting him to fall and listen. Actually, we were talking and Mark was like oh, Sixers, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, yeah. And then I went upstairs and I, I looked I at my phone. I was like, they freaking won the game. I blame you. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like being this way. Oh, yes, boy. you do. No, I don't. I, I honestly don't. I. uh I like being, um, I've tried being the fucking, you know, the blind fan. Like, okay, I'll just. Like Fink is with the Phillies. Yeah, I'll just forget everything that's going on and let's root for our team because they're our team. And if just you don't put want, the hot dogs in my mouth. If no. you don't want to hear this shit, <laughs> just, uh, just tune me out right now or tell me to go fuck myself. I really don't care. But um, I'm, I'm not excited for mm -hmm. the Sixer season. I'm not excited for Embiid's return. And there's. A, a shitload of reasons for it. Number one, I'm not sure if you guys follow basketball, if you've watched basketball a lot in your lives, but there's hardly ever been, a, maybe never, I'm, I'm going to say never, there's never been a team where the star player has, has played zero games with three of the top guys going into the final five games of the season 
and they're the eighth seed of the fucking playoffs, and they've come out, you know, looking good. He's never played with Buddy Heald before last night, never played with Kyle Lowry, never played with Campaign. Two of those guys are point guards who rely on – he relies on to get them the ball. Tyrese Maxey's got a bum hip, even if he's 100%, whatever. I mean, uh, the last time Embiid played was, I think, January 30th. The leading scorers of that game, I think Furkan Korkmaz had 19. Pat Bev had 12. <laughs> For, like, like the last time this guy played was was a, a completely different team. And it's unfair to, to uh, expect him to come back to this team, which he's unfamiliar with, and lead them anywhere in the playoffs. It's, it's just totally unfair to him. Now, here what I'm saying is they shouldn't have brought him back. We have a legend in the chat, and he's calling you out, dude. Look at this. I, I, Look at that. I know. Um, that's not some random. John, I mean, John, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I, definitely I'm, not some like, random. That's what I mean. I don't mean to be the 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 bump because here's here's what's going to happen. He's going to come back. You have it, there's almost an it's a it's a no win scenario. It's my homie from work. As as a late seed, you're going to have to overcome a shitload the the best teams to win. Now, this leads you to. The you could, did it you could possibly put yourself out to losing to Doc Rivers in the first round, which is horrible and <sighs> embarrassing. And unless Embiid makes it out of the second round, this is a failure. It's a failure no matter what. You have to make it out of the second round, and it's it's pretty pretty far odds to do that at the, at this point for the Sixers. And even if they do do that, where are they going after that? I mean. You're not going to beat the Celtics. So what's the what's the controversial take here? Because this is a take that a lot of people have. No, no, point. everybody's way too way too into the Sixers. Oh, and everybody last night was acting like it was the return they're, they're of you like know fooling Christ himself or or just trying to convince themselves that this could be the year. Dude, oh, I'm, you I, got this is, the, saying this that. is the worst shit I have ever heard. Whoa, in go my to Fink immediately, Tom. <laughs> so, so Meech, I got to tell no, you, hold on, hold on, wait, no, no, no. Hoopers, who? Yo, Buddy, Buddy Hill's never best. played in the playoffs in his fucking life. Do you know the last time Kelly Oubre was in the playoffs? And let me, let me give never. you a hint. He's played for the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors. The last time he was in the playoffs was 2018 with the fucking Washington Wizards. Okay. Like, okay. Hold it's on. a bunch of unproven players. And Embiid's played with you proven three players minutes. and haven't gone past the fucking. <laughs> you had three minutes. Fink is upset, you're, you're, upset and I want to know why. Embiid's a top three player in the NBA. Yeah. Okay. Then you have a chance at the title. No. The only team that – what, what team scares you? But he's East? also not even the close Celtics. to 100%. That's it. You have one team that you're scared of in the East. You're two no, games no. out of a six They'll seed. lose to the Knicks. They'll lose – they might what? beat oh the my Cavs. God. No, no, they're not. Oh, They'll oh, lose oh, to the Celtics. The Sixers Celtics. were playing at a 60-game win pace before MB got hurt. And he was they MVP. were the best – one of the top he, three teams. It was a totally different team. Facts, Fink. It was a Facts. totally different team, Fink. It, it, there, there wasn't campaign on this. Players. There wasn't Buddy Hill. Like basketball. Yes, get this, get this it's Kyle control. Lowry. Get this under control. Get this Kyle under Lowry control. is 37 years old, however old he is. He's been in the NBA. He's Yo. played with so <laughs> many different players. players. He can play Wait. with Embiid. Hold on, players play control. basketball oh. is like saying Wheeler does Wheeler things. <laughs> it's a fucking meaningless <laughs> statement. It's a That's meaningless statement. People play okay, basketball. Wait, wait. Kyle Lowry. Can he can play do heel things. Come on, man. I need a gavel. Hold on. Hold on one second. Uh, the the comment <laughs> we need Willie, to get you a gavel. Wooly is cracking me up because Wooly goes. I think people were just excited about Embiid returning, and I don't think they thought we actually have a shot. Then he goes, "Okay, Fink does." <laughs> <laughs> and look at his last comment. <laughs> Fuck it. So do I. Ah, the Sixers currently have the third best odds Willie's to in. win the East. So Vegas thinks that they have a shot. Okay. Because you had the best. Yeah, give me a fucking high five. Hell yeah. Wow. The goddamn best That's player in the NBA they- coming back to your team. We- Seven game ramp up. Okay. We're going to the here. title. Can we We're go to- winning a Larry. Can we go to uh, Goodhart over here? He's been clapping and motioning. Here we go. <laughs> Meach. I agree with you completely. No, you don't. <laughs> just, just say you don't. I don't want to hear the bullshit. Just you don't agree. No, just no, say your no, fucking I piece. I agree with you completely that this team is completely gutted and that Campaign and Buddy Heald are not good players on good teams and that this team is a, a shell of what it was when Embiid went out in terms of a team. But, but. – <laughs> and I agree that they should have shelved him, but – 
When I heard Embiid after the game last night, which was after we got together, you can't hold players down. The guy wants to play. And so he's got to play because I actually loved hearing that from him because I, all along, like he's an unbelievable talent, but I always questioned, like, does he really want it? And last night he says he really wants to play. Like you can't hold him back. So he's got to play, but the team sucks. Listen, well, look, I, all that's fucking bullshit. Buddy Heel has, has a sports <laughs> guy. Buddy Heel has the second most threes made in the NBA since whatever 2018. Buddy Heel. Nick Nurse hates them. Nick Nurse plays them for shitty teams. Meaningless three pointers for shitty teams. Okay. Three Same pointers with- are three pointers. They all buckets count. Okay, can I just say this? There all are, buckets matter. Hold on. <laughs> there are so many like. <laughs> Different levels to the Sixers. That, that could be a T-shirt. The pain yeah, of not the my Sixers t-shirt. experience. Well, that's okay. Being a, it's- right, but think about this. I feel like every season, for as long as I can remember, it was like, well, we got all these guys at the trade deadline. Let's see if they can figure out how to play together before we enter into the playoffs. Oh, Joel's hurt. Let's see if he can come back and figure out how to play with these guys that we got at the trade deadline. You know, now that's happening like a week before the playoffs start. What we know about JoJo is. How many times has he come back from an injury and it's just like smooth sailing? Like, damn, never. He recovered. He looks great. You know, when you're a seven-two gigantic human that flops all over the floor, coming back from injury is very difficult. I've seen I, I this just, before. How many listen, times has he been on the every court? Every time, and been the most dominant you know, player in listen, the court. Listen, and it's not his fault. Every time, but every time something goes wrong against the Sixers, watch, watch it when it gets close to the playoffs. He'll start grabbing at his knee and. He'll, he'll uh, like or he'll start be sick. Wincing. So you call you call him be soft, running up and down on his fucking sketchers. So you're calling him soft. You are calling him a faker? No, I'm I'm just saying that's what he does. It's a fucking track record. He falls on the ground. That's guys, what allows guys to, to fall you. on his leg and get him hurt in the be- to begin with. You watch that play. He got hurt. He fell for no fucking reason. And Jonathan Kuminga fell on his fucking knee and and ruined it. Yeah. Okay. And, and in that play, Daniel House was in it and didn't fucking go for the ball. A bunch of losers that are no no longer on the and team. And listen, I hate to tell you. So you're not excited about six. Not in the league. Did you gather that? I mean, no, I'm just like, so you don't. Did you, did you, you figure follow? that out? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to find out what is, what's his deal. Like, what's his here, path forward? And here's, here's are you the not going to watch? Or you, you here's just don't the other thing. If if they start winning, I'm going to be fucking crazy. I'm going to be a fucking lunatic <laughs> because I'm. That's how I'm wired. But right now. Uh, this is all I can see. This is what I I, I know. This is what has been okay. fucking uh, knocked in my head for the past six seasons. Learn, get excited. Learn pessimist. <laughs> learn pessimist. Okay. Right yeah. Hold and on. you guys, learn what, is it yeah, learn baby. pessimist or old blind optimist? Shit. Like, what, what's better? What's That's better? Old Tell me. School shit. Okay. I, will, ooh, I just want to just want to watch some basketball and you know enjoy. Which it I will do. Bit. I will watch right. basketball and enjoy it no matter who's playing. He was playing three quarters before he got hurt. Okay. He was averaging the most points in the NBA. Listen, and, and he still needs a load manager. You guys he got know. Hurt and couldn't finish the season. I am prone. <laughs> chill, chill, <laughs> chill. I am prone to listen. When it comes to Philly sports, I am prone to listen to the negative devil on, the, on my shoulder. Me? And in this case, it's Meech. <laughs> and, and here's another thing to layer on top. Okay. <laughs> listen. <laughs> The playoffs, uh, playoff Embiid is a whole nother scenario. Yeah, okay. Just yeah. 23 stop, points a game. Stop. The game changes. Guys don't, during the regular season, guys are loafing. You know, there's lots of transition. Playoff Embiid, when it's the la- end of the game and the double team's coming, you know, like it's just not the same situation. He's coming back a week before the end of He's the season. He's loafing even more. With a, a somewhat sus supporting cast. I'm sorry, man. You you guys are acting all. When you like, have put your money where your you mouth have is. Shooters put your money you, where your mouth is. That's gonna take the double teams because Do you, you can't here's the thing. I don't like hold feeling on, this way. Hold on, hold on. I don't like feeling this way. Hold up. That you got to separate. You guys all got to separate what you think is gonna happen from what you want to happen. Do you really believe that the yes. Sixers are gonna go on a playoff run? Yes. You believe that yes. in your heart? Yes. Okay. I think it depends on who they play in the first round. I yeah. wish I could have. They're fun two like that. games out of the sixth seed and getting out of the play in. You play who? The Cavs in the first they're round. Right in the they're playing. They're two games out of being out of the playoffs as well. No, they're and they're not. about to play the Heat. They're they're going to play the Heat yeah, next. You're right in you front beat of them. them, and then you're going to jump them. Now you're the seven seed. Dude, the East stinks. 
besides the Celtics. If the Sixers get in and don't have to play the Celtics in the first round, they have a sh- just as good a shot as anybody to make it to the <laughs> And then Eastern anything Conference happens. Brock's not wrong. Bottom line. If they right. play the Bucks, they'll probably win the series because – yeah, dude, Doc because Rivers it doesn't Karma matter who they play. Off. If they don't play the Celtics in the first round, they have a chance to make it to the Doc Eastern. Doc Rivers is if they don't play the Celtics in the first or right second now, round. I'm sorry, problems. then they have a chance to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's oh bottom come line. on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, yeah, Rocky Rattlesnake. That's what it is. The East sucks, man. The East fucking stinks. Okay, when the bottom East line. is in the house, oh my god, danger. <laughs> but chances are they lose the playing game to the Heat and they play the Celtics and they get bounced that's in the first round. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what that's that's what terrifies me, right? That that's that's the situation. A one game you know playing mean? If they got to the play heat. the Celtics in the first round. Okay, I see. But the I see. And then that's if they beat the Bulls or the Hawks Dude, those in the second game, stink, which is man. a toss up. Too. Those teams Hawks suck, man. They will be favorite every game yeah. against the Dude. Bulls, the Hawks, the Magic. All these teams the fucking Hawks. stink, man. They but, have bad players. But so do we. Trey, is Trey, Trey Young, I don't think he's playing anymore. I think we he's suck done. too, though, right? The Knicks no. have no, the Sixers don't suck, man. You guys are so fucking awful. Thank What's you. going on, Come man? On. Once MB gets they, to, he's, they he's gonna beat sh- Oklahoma City by one last night, who without were without their first. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it Embiid was sitting down for player. fucking three months, man. And beat by twenty nine minutes. You had no Maxi. You had yeah, Kyle dude. Lowry, who's thirty nine years old. Me and you don't know. Yeah. We're done with this conversation. Oh, are you are you Lowry. Lowry. Are How about Caitlin Clark? How about Caitlin Clark? We want. Can I bring a different basketball point that you're gonna get really angry me for? bring up jerry west was inducted in the nba hall of fame for the third time how do you get inducted into because the hall of fame for the third time the only in the nba well, you not, get that, that's what i love about the nba it's the nba, NBA. In, inducts anybody that contributed to the game in a positive manner Correct. whether you're a woman whether you're an international High player whether you're a coach whether you're a fucking referee whether how you're a did this conversation keeper? shift so but quickly. he was already inducted as a player it, twice and then he got inducted as a contributor. Keep on inducting people. Okay, so my final thing to bring us all back together. We can all just agree. Hot dog, fuck you. Sucks. <laughs> stinks. Sorry, what all right, that? It stinks. Until that, he has that's that part game. of the reason why I want to um, get rid of this year because I don't I like him. I no longer I'm sorry. Watch he him. seems yeah, like yeah. such of a nice guy. Really. No, yeah, real quick though. He airballed a free throw, like a jump shot from the free throw line last night. Yeah. I, I wanted to turn off the game. <laughs> real quick. And then his next shot hit just backboard. Yeah. Like two seconds later, he got the rebound and had the audacity to take another shot. I've given and, up and almost broke Thanks. the fucking backboard. What Yo, do you want to say, dude? Real quick, uh, you, you guys have, are getting fucking angry. If you have the two or three best basketball players on the floor, no matter what level it is, from fucking down to being a baby up to the fucking NBA, you always have the ch- the better shot, the better chance of winning the game. Bottom line, and if you have Embiid and Maxi on the floor. Against the Hawks, the Bulls, I'm not gonna say the Bucks, Magic, the Magic, the fucking Knicks, the Heat, the Heat. You got the two best players. Right, but aren't on the they floor. not gonna play those teams in the first round? Who knows? Who, I don't, we don't know. Rocky who the fuck on play. basketball. Who, who they're gonna play? Who are they gonna play? They're gonna play either the Celtics or what? yeah. How's the that Bucks? gonna go? Who's the third seed right now? The, the Cavs. The Cavs. The Cavs are the you got the seed. best. Oh, I'm scared of them. Yeah, you scared of fucking. First of all, they got what's his name? What's Do his not fret. Donovan Mitchell. Do no, not, not Donovan Mitchell. The other guy. Who's their other best player? That's hurt. Uh, they got Garland, right. Allen. No, nah, the fucking big man. Mobley. Mobley. He's hurt. Mobley. Okay. Bottom line: if you don't play, if you don't play the Bucks or the Celtics, you're gonna have the two best players on the floor every time. Everyone. You always got a better chance to win. Thank the game you. You got the two best Listen, players on the floor. Listen, I appreciate your optimism, and I very much hope it would be great to get like a. I. Everybody has been. We didn't even think Embiid would come back. Right now, he's back. We're all hoping there's a long playoff run. We really are. You know, it's just a question whether you think that that is a reasonable. Can, can I ask you? We all know it's the second round possibility. Right now, <laughs> okay. Are you gonna? What are you, what are no, you gonna ask? Because guys, we we are at our one hour limit, and Fink is. We have no limit. Like this, this is a, a self-imposed limit. limit. I wanted to do. I wanted to do something a ten minutes. I wanted to do something a little lighter. What's that? Okay, so just fucking chill. You I do want to. I do want to ask. Propose a, another Sixers question, real quick. <laughs> Not even an, an Embiid question. <laughs> What do you guys think of him playing in the in the Olympics this year? Would you rather him not play? Which which I'm in favor of. That's what that's what 
I don't want him to play. I don't want him to play. Right. No. Like, no. why would you want him to play? Because ne- that's his next thing. Is he going to play for the U.S.? He's going to play for the U.S. He's he already oh, announced. Hell no. Man. I think he's going to be too tired after this title run that we're going to win. I want him to play. He's going to probably opt out. He's too tired after these next five games. Wait, USA. Wait, real quick. He announced that he's going to play a long time ago before the injury. So, for the U.S., he's playing. Yeah, yeah he yeah. said that. You know, LeBron was all hype. You don't remember all that? Oh. No, nah. but I, okay. I mean, after that injury, I think it may be he may have a change of heart after that. So, all right. Sick. Well, Jerry West got inducted for being on the Olympic team, so maybe that's what he's <laughs> angling for. This guy's locked into the I'm Jerry West Hall of Fame knows how to do okay. Jerry West. It's time for our moment of levity. Who are the moment best? Jesse Rendell. I have I have succeeded in bringing up some miscellaneous topics, some of which have bombed, like the emoji conversation, some of which have been huge successes, like the awkward handshake conversation. Okay, It's the Larry David moment. Yeah, this is exactly right. And this is something that happens to me all the time, and I just had to bring it up, because there are things that we all get so pissed off when other people do that, that thing. We yell and scream and get pissed off, and then we shortly thereafter do said thing ourselves. Okay, and th- I have one situation that happens to me all the damn time because I don't like to admit this, but I'm a multitasker, okay? And when I'm driving every day, I'm at a stoplight, I'm trying to bang out an email, I'm trying to text these knuckleheads about what to do or whatever, and I'm sitting at the stoplight, you know, I'm first in line, Uh-oh. and that shit turns green, and lo and behold, the guy behind me uh-uh. has got to honk at me, you know? And, and I'm like... Uh, what you know, and I'm in the wrong, right? I'm sitting there on my phone. I'm on freaking Instagram. Don't hold on. I'm on Instagram. So you do know? you do the what are you what are you doing? <laughs> or do you just like keep it going and, and it, it's a like, hold I'm on, sorry. hold on. Now it, it looks sh- like you just did the what are you doing? It depends. That's it, a my bad moment. That bro. it on. all depends on my mood and the scenario. Here's what pisses me off more than anything. This happens to me all the time because on my commute, I'm driving through North Philly and I'll be right around broad in Lehigh. Okay, I'm on uh what am I on? Um, I'm on matter. Lehigh. I'm on Lehigh, and I'm coming at Broad, two blocks away. It's it's crawling. You know what I mean? So I'm at a stoplight. I love the person who honks at you to move when I'm literally, when I do move, going to cross the intersection, and they are going to pull up behind me and be blocking the intersection. In other words, My there's favorite. nowhere to go. I'm like, you achieved your goal by me moving up. You're not going anywhere either, buddy, right? So when you're in traffic and you honk at me to move up one spot, that pisses me off. But lo and behold, same trip into work. I'll be, you know, behind somebody and and the light will turn green. And you know what? I I'm giving them yeah, the yeah, horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, get off your phone, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and it just got me to thinking, you know, what kind of things are that yeah, we don't have any producers, Enrico. That that's uh <laughs> that's me and Tom, buddy. We can't fire ourselves. There's no one to fire, there's yeah. no compensation. Bottom here, Rico. Line, if you're on the phone, Enrico, the- you should come over. There's no compensation. <laughs> if you're okay. on the phone at the stoplight. And the light turns green, and you're still on the phone, and you're you got to get a horn. You got to fucking get a horn. Bottom however, line. however, however, there's no however. No, however, that. yeah, it, it, there absolutely is. I think okay. you got to give like no, five no, no. to seven seconds. No, 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 no you no, don't no. give no what? seconds at a stoplight. No, at a no, stoplight. No. The person who jumps right on top of it is annoying as hell. All but you have to do, oh, great. Right. All you have to do is just give the simple, just little love tap on the horn at first. Yeah, yeah. Beep. That's true. There that's are different it. horns. That's it. If you give just a beep. Okay. That's a hey man, all, right. all good. That's a my bad moment. And I I'm got like, you. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're you right. give them the hand. That's a great point. Moving. If they do that, all if you good. lay on the horn, they lay on the horn. Go fuck yourself. Now line. I'm gonna take forever okay. to get through this. Industry. I like, I like getting out of the car over and North then kicking their their driver's side door. <laughs> You'll get shot for that. <laughs> You'll get shot for that. Uh, Related note: So I was in the Caribbean last week. Interesting. They use their horns to communicate so many more things than we do. <laughs> They'll be driving down the street. If they see anybody they know, like a dude who drives, it'll oh, yeah. be just a bus driver who sees another guy driving a bus. I don't think they even know each other, but because they drive a bus, it's <laughs> like if somebody, they let everyone in. They let you in, and then and then when you get let in, you got to give them a <laughs> They use the horn it's to like, island time. Yeah, they use the time. horn to be like, yo, what, thanks, what can we man. learn from that? That's how it, it should be. So much better. I was shocked to see the cultural difference between the way. Yeah, I'm, they, I'm one of those guys stop. that let no, everybody seriously. in. They will stop Wait, when the someone's cultural trying difference to turn. between the islands and Philadelphia <laughs> driving. <laughs> it's pathetic. Now, I just wanted to ask, and Meech, I think you might have worked something up here. Do you guys, does anything else come to mind, a similar scenario where you get so pissed off and someone does this, but then you do it yourself? Meach, did you have one? No, I'm perfect. Well, I, I did um like and it's another driving one when I'm if I'm uh like on 95 and you know where it says like 
the the lanes merge in in a, a half a mile. Uh, I take it all the way to the fucking. Oh, <laughs> I, I, they, tell you, they tell you to do that. He's a yes, late sir. merger. Traffic, He's a late uh, merger. No, 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 no. Traffic Yo, pattern just, experts have said that that's just the best uh, that is the way, way you do, do it. it. And it, that's not the reason I do it because I also do it like on game day on Packer Ave. You know when there's that long ass line. Uh, yeah. But there's always the guys. Uh, the front. There's always guys different. right at the end who are slacking. They're and, looking and, at their phone. Yeah, and they don't pay attention. <laughs> okay. And you can always sneak in, and it's never an issue to where I'm like, okay, hold on, I'm hold fucking on, things on. up. But if somebody tries to do it to me, I'm like, yo, motherfucker, like this is mine. I will say okay. one of the benefits of people being on their phones while driving, which there are none, don't do it. Because I <laughs> see so lawyer, many accidents. One of the benefits. Which I see so many accidents. Like m- most every accident that comes into my office is a result of people being on their phone. But – one of the benefits of people being on their phone is you can always guarantee that you can jump in at the end because yeah, someone's going to okay. be on their phone. But let me say this. There's two um, different variations of what Meech is talking about. One is acceptable. One is totally screwed up. Okay? It looks like my computer is about to uh, okay. die. Yeah, so I've, I have something hold on, hold on, that I do that, that what, I get angry if, with If you come do. up and, and there's a line to get off and you come up in a lane that is not an exit lane and wait to the end and then scoot over, that's messed up. That's if different. you wait to the end to merge into traffic, very different. But – if you're banking on the fact that someone is on their phone, I've done this before. I'm like, there's going to be a truck, there's going to be a slow, and then you get up there, and it turns out it doesn't happen. You could be totally screwed. Totally. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this was an incredible dialogue. I got to I get hit. <laughs> the computer's no. going to die, asshole. It's not. Why's it got to be an asshole? Why's it got to be an asshole? The computer's going to die, ladies and gentlemen, because we only had an hour for the City Pitches podcast, episode 77. Bow, and bow, thank bow, you for everybody bow, that joined. Bow. I got to take a piss Listen, anyway. That's please got to pass like, overtime oh, for every shit. minute after yeah. an hour ago. Oh, like, subscribe, follow. I don't know, man. Get in the chat. Yeah, go Flyers. We need to go Flyers. Go Flyers. Go Flyers. Playoff run. Let's go, baby. Sixers playoff run. Big run.